Greetings from the frozen tundra of Slam Bone Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin, where legends like Slitz Bombardi and Threat Carb thrilled crowds stuffed with beer and cheese. We're sure to see some more classic action today if time doesn't freeze. And this is going to be a bloody game. The teams are loading their weapons and sharpening their spikes. The Purple Mutant Eaters go up against the Grim Bay Attackers. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Yo, man, nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? If you like your cocktail cold, your soup hot, and your steak still mooing, then you're going to love seeing mutants not cold, their brains turned into hot lava soup, and their bodies strewn about the field, lying still and barely moving. MFL game day is on the air. Oh, you just made me hungry, Grim. I'm going to go get some of them extra crispy mutant finger strips. Hey, get me a full slab of broken mutant ribs while you're there. Oh, he's gone berserk. The ball carrier and the defense was reading him like a book. I like the way it's written in Braille. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham a sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm going to go grab one. You want anything? Yeah, I'm still working on my salami here, Briggs. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. <laughs> First and ten. And he sticks his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a... Whoa, mama! Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. Second down and two. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. First and ten. <laughs> Nicely done. Picks up three on that pass play. Ooh la la. Second down and seven. Nope. Well, I have. I know I said another hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Second down in a lot. Force meets the explodable object. The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. Third down and ten. a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. Well, that's a lovely shank for the punter today. He just put his team in the hole. The return, this guy's a brick shithouse. And he's off to the races. Oh, man, his neck vertical. 
Bray just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they take the belly, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on Rye with uh, no mustard? And it's first and ten. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. The offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. And it's first and ten. the ball into the defense picking up seven second and three and this guy just exploded into flames now the defense has to try to tackle a running bonfire he just put that guy on his misery and says who's next he's at the 40 he's at the 30 he's at the 20 he's at the 10 Touchdown! And he rips off a game-breaking run for the score! point attempt it goes right through yeah like a double stop burrito from taco hell here comes the kicker oh, i can't wait to hear this what's the kicker grim uh, this guy in the field oh i thought you were gonna tell me a story like here's the kicker when i turned on the light it wasn't a broad in my bed it was a chicken don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking when they're not young. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Broid Rage, how do you like your brains? Scrambled or fried? One fried man breakfast special coming up. <laughs> oh man, Bricks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. The 30. The 20. <laughs> Now the offense is getting kills. Ah, uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. And it's first and ten. First and goal. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps outside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. Defense had enough with this ref and jumps offside to kill him. <laughs> And 
It's first and ten. And the defense holds that pass play to only two yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have. And he just slipped away. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read them because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. First down and five. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. I'll just assume that to orcs, this is arousing. Two left. They might consider running the ball more. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and it's first and ten. And the runner is moving crazy fast. Look at the pass. And that's what... Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. Second and three. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. Second and three. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So was that cheerleader. Third down and three. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Fighting for every yard. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Oh, with the brain scrambler. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Second down and ten. And they call a ginormous dirty trick. It's so big and Fumble! You've got to protect. 
take the ball better than that. The defense is relentless out there, and they get the turnover. He could go all the way. He might catch him. Oh, you bad man. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. It's a time warp dirty trick. The last play is a race. How did they do that? Did they go 88 miles per hour? Just asking. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Well, that is one big mutant sandwich down there. One guy's definitely toast. That's what you call a club sandwich, Grim. First and ten. Does the QB know which team he's on? He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. There's a bloody red head on the field. No, that's their red penalty marker, Briggs. Looks like this one's coming back. First and four. a run for no gain then it's not really a run is it third down and nine mistakes here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room it's good when you give up points you need to get them back here comes the kickoff let's see if they can make them pay First and ten. Oh, I love this dirty trick. C5 Wow! The quarterback just he finds open space is running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch! And it's first and ten. Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. Ah, oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row, because that was splattering everywhere. The offense is losing quarterbacks faster than teams lose their minds at spring break. They're down to their last QB before they have to forfeit. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that's how you play defense. 
Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. Second down and 10. Third down, and the punter is warming up. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know almost throw interceptions, but when I do, that, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. First and ten. He might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. Second down and nine. down give this guy a few catches and watch it oh and you can bury that guy dead oh did you see what number he was i gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card i only need one more and it's first and ten Second down and long. And another intercept. Oh, with the boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and oh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? another pick man oh man the defense oh and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit yeah, it sounds like my off season and it's first and ten That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the NFL. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. And it's first and ten. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Second down and ten. At this rate, the QB's going to have more interceptions. Than oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Graham. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. Ruin the world. Ruin it. And it's first and ten. And oh, with the brutal hit! <laughs> and it's first and ten. to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, Grim. They use their timeout, but they are running out of time. A uh, bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? 
It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point. And drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. <laughs> The quarterback burns his last time out. He can't stop the clock anymore. Second down in a mile. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Brits' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit shit. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. It's not short, but this one shouldn't give the kicker any trouble. Unless he collapses under pressure and never makes another kick again. Hmm, that's bleak, Bricks. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went the It looks like we've got a penalty here. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry? He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. He's at the 40. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. Yeah, man. <laughs> Gotta love it. <laughs> the offense is down to their last quarterback. If they lose him, they lose the game. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh boy, where are we going, Grim? A carnival? I'm huh? gonna go to a strapeze show. Where are we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. <laughs> They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Face. I want to see if he's crying. 
Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. I personally think that the ginormous guy is compensating for four yards on that one. And he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Third down and long. several occasions not surprising multiple times on each occasion not surprising and trust me that hit was worse oh and the defense just called a time warp dirty trick and now it's like everything that just happened didn't get Brick's mom on the phone quick on you 13,000 of those time warps and undo a mistake she did about 35 years ago He's at the 30. Here comes the defense. The Nicely done for a first down. A man from prison just came out of the field. It's the ref, idiot. Oh. Let's see what the penalty is. First and four. This is really a violent game, guys. The Green Bay attackers get shellacked today and lose by forfeit. Someone's going to be busy sweeping up all those body parts. They battled hard, but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks? Yeah. Yeah, that was beautiful. <laughs> with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every other...